Reporting live from beautiful Northwest Florida, and that's Pensacola, Florida, if you do not know. Welcome to my channel, Melly Mel Shades. If you guys like traditional wet shaving, men's fragrances, and giveaways, hey, you might want to consider subscribing to my channel. In this episode, I was going to do my very first shave of 2022. First of all, I want to wish you and your families a very happy and healthy 22. Anyway, as I said, let's get into it. Stay tuned. saw my shave gear comment below if you ever tried the gentleman's nod any of the Zaharoff uh, signature uh, collections man this is the signature royale is probably my favorite out of the line um, definitely sense strength on this is a meat is above medium uh, notes I get a nice citrusy opening with some florals and Later on, I get the the vanilla, musky, and the woods in this soap. Love this soap. And of course, anytime you go with a uh, Zahra, you already know you are going to experience that aromatherapy. And that aromatherapy right now is making me what? Is making me smile. So the citrus with the peppery florals and the woods, vanilla, and the musk is a perfect combination. And I'm smelling all of it. I am smelling all of it. Love this scent. If I had to pick my favorite scent of 2021, it was tough. There was, I wanted to do a top 10, but there were so many great scents that came out in 2021. I would have to, I'm going to say it right now. This is, as far as scent wise, as far as scent wise, the Zahra Signature Royale was my favorite scent of 2021. I said it. I said it right here. As, and again, we're talking scent-wise. Cardinal Base, not bad. I, I got to work it. I got to work it just a little bit more, but it's okay. I'm getting a great lather. Anyway, as they say, let's get into it. I'm working with my first day use of the Gillette Nassus. With my greatest of all time, you already know. Check out my top five video on my D razors. I had this at number, you already know, number one. As Geo Fatball would say, let me clear the runways. All right, I'm working with about two days growth. And hopefully you guys are having a great First day of 2022. I know I have. I know I have. So what did you guys do uh, for New Year's Eve? Well, I had to work, but got home about uh, about 8:15, 8, about 8:30, and I just had a nice 
simple, quiet New Year's Eve night with my family. Just me, my beautiful wife, and my cool daughter. Just like I like it. If you are a dad, you know what I'm talking about. Hashtag daddies are awesome. So yeah, I just had a nice quiet evening with the family. We toasted the New Year's in with some champagne. And then of course my daughter, she uh, used, instead of champagne, she used ginger ale. And, and we just had a great time. We just had a great time with each other. That's all I need. I'm, I'm simple. I'm simple. Just as long as I'm with family, that's all that matters. Anyway, comment below again. What did you guys do for uh, New Year's Eve? I tell you, this carbon is, if I had to get rid of all my razors and they just gave me the carbon, I would be satisfied. Paired up with the Gillette Nassets, it's magic, baby. Magic. Shaves are just super easy and super comfortable. All right, going with the second pass with the grain. Man. Oh, guys, I don't know. I, a few days ago, I, um, I did a live on YouTube not too long ago. And uh, speaking about uh, George Zaharoff, he actually came in my live. And, and we, we had comments between each other. And uh, I'm saying how much I wish he would come out with a uh, a summer spring freshie, because you know he doesn't have that in his line, right? And you know what he said? He's gonna have one coming out uh, March of 2022, and it's called Citrine, C I T R I N E. And man, because you know me, I love my fragrances, especially. Spring and summer fragrance. I love my spring and summer scents. If anybody knows me, people know I love my summer spring scents. And when G-Man, for those of you who are new to my channel, I call it George Zahra. G-Man. I got, I got two nicknames for him. I call him G-Man and the king of the fragrance community. So I, 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 I was telling G-Man, I said, dude, if, you, if it comes out March 2022, I will definitely, definitely purchase one. I can't wait. Because anything George, anything that he has to do with fragrances is going to be a banger. Oh, and comment below your uh, New Year's Day. Shave every day. I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear from you. All right, time for the third pass. My favorite pass. It is the money pass. I gotta do it. The money pass, that, that's the against the grain pass. My favorite pass. Mm -hmm. Again, aromatherapy here in Pensacola, Florida is on point. It is on point. And I believe as I am recording this video, the soap set with the, with the soap and the aftershave splash is currently sold out, but I believe Gentleman's Not still has the signature of soap. Getting those runways as Geo Fatboy would say. Comment below, guys, if you ever watched uh, Geo Fatboy. He was actually one of my first two or three YouTubers that I watched when I first started. Wet shaving tradition way back in 2012. It was uh, Geo Fat Boy and uh, IMCDV and uh, Mantic 59. Those were my guys. Those were my dudes. 
Then that later on, I, I, I watched Shea Buster, So Sharp David. Uh, later on, Nick Shays. I remember when I was researching uh, modern day double edge razors, when I saw that video of uh, Geo Fat Boy with, when he first reviewed the uh, Edwin Jagger DE89, I was sold after that video. That was my first true DE razor was the Edwin Jagger DE89. My first one was a vintage. It was a 1970, ooh, I'm gonna say a 1974 uh, Super Speed. And believe it or not, I still have those razors. Hey, comment below. Love to hear what was your first. Since this is January 1st, 2022, I want to hear your first. First of all, I want to hear your, again, I want to hear your, your shave day for today. And also, I want to hear your first razor. You know me, I like to, I like to engage with you guys, man. All right, I'm gonna stop it right here. I'm gonna do that hashtag dessert for those who are new to me. I'll tell you what it is. Anyway, see you in a bit. All right, I am back. Now I'm gonna be doing the hashtag the dessert. Those are things that I do after a great shave. So after a great shave, I do a nice ice cold water rinse to close the pores. The ice, I, next after that, I follow up with the hashtag the ice cube rub and it closes the pores even better. It also soothes a freshly shaved face or dome. Anyway, comment below. Hashtag the ice cube rub if you do the ice cube rub. And if you haven't, hey, try it out. It feels good after a great shave. Also wakes you up too. Mmm. -hmm. Love my ice cube rub. All right, next. I like to dry my face. Got my favorite, the best shaving towel in the wet shaving community, the Lancaster Razor Work Towel. Love it. All right, next I'm gonna do, I gotta do uh, the hashtag, the shake. Every time I put an aftershave splash on me, I gotta do the hashtag, the shake, so I can receive good luck. Comment below. If you do the same for me, I, I like to wake up the aftershave splash and hey, everybody can use good luck. I know I do. I know I do. So let me give it a couple more shakes to wake it up. Mmm, such a glorious scent. And the aftershave splash is even stronger than the soap. <sighs> Woo! Mmm. -hmm. Has that alcohol in it too to give it that burn. Mm-hmm. Put some on my dome. <sighs> one thing I hate. One thing I hate about a great shave is the end. It's done. <laughs> However, I'm also happy because I look forward to my next shave. And if you are watching this video right now, I wanna thank you. It means the world that you Watch my videos, like my videos, leave a co positive comment, share my channel, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you know each and every video I upload. And if you are watching this video, you, yes, you are having a good day. Just make sure you make this good day into an amazing day. As always, until the next episode, keep shaving, keep smiling, one love over here in beautiful Northwest Florida, and that's Pensacola, Florida, if you do not know wet shaving community. I love you. Fragrance community. I love you. And I cannot wait. Yes, I cannot wait because I get to talk about white shaving, men's fragrance, and give it until I see you in the next episode. Happy, healthy 2022. Happy, healthy 2022 to you and your families. Anyway, I cannot wait.
I'll see you guys later, YouTube. Mwah.